Hi YouTube, my name's Drew, and you're watching Drew's Obsessions. Well yes YouTube, I've moved up a notch in the world. I have now got my own little studio here in a dark corner of my basement. Uh, as you can see, I have a interesting uh, Lord of the Rings bearded mug with absolutely nothing in it. I've got my beard oils, waxes, everything here at my disposal. I've got my little beard trimmer for today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, one technique or one tip on what I do in order to, uh, when you're growing out your beard, keep it streamlined and have it look full and thick as it's growing. Over the years, I've noticed that as I grow my beard, it often gets kind of thin looking as it gets bigger. And there's always a few different points that after growing it, it, uh, it looks better, I find, in my opinion. So generally after the one month mark, I start to like the beard. It, you know, when you're first starting out, it's kind of patchy. And then the one month mark, everything looks pretty, pretty good. Uh, and then after a little while, you'll notice parts getting shaggy and you have to trim it up. And then again, maybe around the two or three month mark, I start to like it again because it starts to get look a lot denser, especially as the bottom here fills out. But my main concern and one of my biggest issues as I was growing my beard are the sides of your beard. So if you've never considered trimming up the sides as you grow the length of your beard, this is the time to do it. For a little bit of an update here, I just want to let you know that I've been growing my beard for about five months. Uh, now I haven't actually been growing completely without trimming. I've been trimming up a little bit, maintaining it as I go, but for the last month or so I've really done very little in terms of maintenance. So today I'm going to do a little trim up the neck as I usually do. And then uh, I'm going to show you here exactly how I do my trimming nowadays. So let's get started. Start with my beard trimmer. It's quite old, so it's starting to die on me. Okay, there we go. I've trimmed up the neck. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of gauge the size of my beard on the sides here because really what you don't want to have happen as you're growing your beard, especially if it's sparse like mine, you don't want it to start to grow out in all these weird directions and then the sides start to look bushy and this part looks bushy and then it looks thinner in the inside, in the middle part here. That looks terrible in my opinion. So. Uh, I'm going to go up the sides here and then I'm going to trim down this part here. It's going to give the illusion that this is a lot longer and then I'm just going to ever so slightly trim the very tip here so it doesn't come to an ugly point. So that way it will all be streamlined down this way. So if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm, I've got my hands up kind of like you would see at the barber and I'm just running my razor along the side of my fingers to make sure I'm getting everything even. If you have a a comb you could, or a brush, you could try it that way too, either one. Just about trying to make your beard look the best it can for your specific growing ability. Okay, so what's happening here is I've taken the most off up here, and then I'm just trimming it up a little bit as we go here, but not too much because you want to keep it looking dense. Okay, let's do the other side. Now this is one thing I often talk about. If you leave your beard too long, this part here is going to start to grow up and grow back towards your ear if it grows in the same direction that mine does. So you're going to always want to make sure to clip that back. And don't be afraid to get a lot there because it just defines your jawline better. And okay, now what I'm doing is I'm just running the, the razor just gently over top. Just the top of the beard there to get all those stray hairs. And do the same again on the other side. Already. That's looking a lot better in my opinion. Now what I always do, this is the three, the three point approach, left side, right side, and then just get the tip of the beard there. You might even round it out just a bit to make it look bushier. Trim up your mustache a bit, but remember this is where a lot of the girth comes from, so you don't want to cut too much off. Well there you have it guys, it's looking a lot better in my opinion. I've tapered the sides down. I've left most of the girth down in this area, which is also the thickest part of my beard and probably the thickest part of most people's beards. And then I just ever so slightly trimmed the bottom here and brought it up just a touch. So that way it doesn't come to a point. So to end this video, I'm going to of course use some of my beard oil. And today, and for today we're going to try, I'm just randomly selecting one from Beard Z, uh, the Spanish Fly. This stuff smells really good. Yeah, it smells like, kind of like cinnamon. Reminds me of Christmas actually. I'm just gonna put a couple drops on my hand here, rub it into the beard, treat that beard nicely, stroke it down in the correct direction. And there you have it folks. One way to make sure your beard grows the way you want it to, trimming it up, trimming the bottom, keeping your beard looking good. 
Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you subscribe to me, you'll make sure that you're connected to all my new videos. Thanks for watching.